Hi, my name is Dottie Love, and I'd like to welcome you to the Christian Children's Ministry Show. Our topic today is Nurturing Your Child, and my co-host is Angela Griffin. We'd like to um, ask you to take a moment to get pen and paper so you can take notes of the show. Also, at the end of the show, you will have the opportunity to take down our contact information. We do encourage you to write to us, to email us. We want to hear from you. We'd love to know what questions you may have, what comments, or what suggestions you may have regarding the show. And we would like to give honor and thanks to our pastor, Bishop Charles E. Blake, and to the entire West Angeles Church of God in Christ family for their support. Angela? It is the desire of the Christian Children's Ministry to teach our youth the importance of living for Christ. In today's world, our children face many different pressures and challenges. Our goal is to equip the young people and help them start building their spiritual foundation on Jesus Christ. By using the Word of God, lesson series, games, and activities, we help the children understand God's love for them. Today on our show, we are pleased to have Mario, Pamela, and Joshua Hayes as our guests. Welcome to our show. Thank you Thank so much you. for taking time out to be here with us today. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, Mario and Pamela, it's obvious that God has blessed you with a gifted son. Uh, Mario, I'd like to um, ask you, how did you discover Joshua's talent? Well, um, by me being a musician myself, you know, mm -hmm. he used to kind of like hang around with me and, uh, you know, paid attention to me on the, at my music and, and um, bang around on the guitar or stuff, whatever. And uh, this wasn't until like, he was like, maybe like six years old, I got a call and some people needed a, a like a third wheel and to be in a, a rap group, you know. Right. And he hadn't, formally he hadn't done anything prior to that. So I asked him that he wanted to do it and he said, yeah. So what I did was I wrote him a little rap and uh, he went down an audition for the, these people and they liked him, you know. That's awesome. And ever, ever since then, He's been doing, you know, different shows and different things, you know. And he never, you know, he 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 didn't he never showed any uh, any negative thing about it. You know, mm -hmm. he always showed a positive attitude positive, towards yeah. it. And so I decided to nurture it, you know, right. and to push it. You right, because so. he he had that enthusiasm right. for it. Was right. he around all different types of music, or was it just specifically rap music? Or? Well, I like all different types right. of music. And I, I, grew up, I grew up in a household where my dad just introduced us to all different types mm -hmm. of music and, you know, and um, I kind of like introduced him to that same type of thing, you know, and, you know, like rock, rap, blues, jazz, mm -hmm. anything, as long as it's, it's, it's good music. Right. You know what I mean? And, and um, I kind of exposed that to him and he's kind of like, you know, taking the rings and, you know, and doing the things that that, uh, that I was I was doing myself, right. but kind of taking the reins and and taking it over. You know, I'm really proud of him. Yeah, 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 taking it to another that's level. That's excellent. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Um, Pamela, considering Joshua's music and his popularity, how do you balance his life and keep him well adjusted? Well, you know, keeping God first in his life, he just makes sure that he um, he always practices and always gets his schoolwork education first and um, and make sure he enjoys what he's doing and you know he as long as he likes it you know and he enjoys his being has a childhood too right. you know yeah, cause it, it got scary at one point was was having him practice and practice and he said, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> you know? yeah. I looked at him like, oh my God, what's going on, you know? Yeah. And uh, we kind of questioned him about it, you know? And uh, he said, oh, okay, I, I like it, you know what I mean? But it was like, because we would get, have a regimen of him rehearsing and he yeah. couldn't do certain things that he wanted to do. But yeah. I tried to keep a balance on that so it, he won't feel like he won't feel like he's deprived of his childhood, you know? And by mm -hmm. him being a child and being very impressionable, you know, uh, you have to be very careful, you know, right. how you, uh, you know, introduce, you know, like him, like for to have a regiment, you know what I mean, and doing things on a, on a daily basis and rehearsing and certain hours and stuff. And that's when he kind of rebelled, you know, mm -hmm. and I was <laughs> like, you know, well, maybe you don't want to do this, but it was like, he was just, he just didn't want to do that at that time, right. 
but mm -hmm. it's and it's hard to do it. Yeah, and like you, know? you said, with him being around you and music, he had developed a natural love for yeah, music. Yeah. So if he was feeling pressured right. to perform or to keep on, he would lose that joy. Right. So and it's good that you strive to keep that balance because you have yeah. some parents who, when they see that their child has a natural gift or a talent, they focus so much on that that they lose sight of the whole child. So right. I just commend both of you mm -hmm. for really, like you said, Pamela, putting God first, yeah. you know, making sure the home life is where it should be, that he's got that love and environment, you know, and he's got the support of mom and dad, yeah. where, you know, if you want to do this, we're behind you 100%, but if not, right. okay, that's fine too. No right. So that that's a blessing, Joshua, you're lucky to have parents yeah. like that. Um, Joshua is going to do a song for us. Mario, would you introduce the song? Yeah, this is a song I wrote called, um, well, actually it's called A Letter to Jesus, but I shortened it with Dear Jesus. Okay. And I wrote it for Joshua, and uh, he's going to perform it to you for you Okay, right great. We, we're excited, Joshua, to hear your song, Dear Jesus. Okay, you ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Jesus had to pay the price For baby J, he made a sacrifice If I should die before I turn 11 I pray my soul will go straight to heaven Lord, please prepare a place for me To live with you all, eternity But let me live out my destiny To hear broken hearts and help the blind see Your love, Lord, is all I need The hope and every promise you make for me And when I'm running and I need you the most That's when the blessing with the Holy Ghost Now I dare the devil to make Lord, please help me understand 
how to grow and be a good man. Life is hard for a little G, but the sick of my coming up in the ghetto streets. Every night I go my knees and pray. Lord, help me live through another day. Lord, please help me understand how to grow and be a good man. Life is hard for a little G, but the sick of my coming up in the ghetto streets. Every night I get my knees and pray. Lord, help me live through another day. Lord, please help me understand how to go and be a good man. Life is hard for a little G. With this thing of my coming up in the ghetto streets. Every night I get my knees and pray. Lord, help me live through another day. Lord, please help me understand how to go and be a good man. Lord, you know you always a Thank you very much. Oh, that was wonderful. wonderful. Thanks. Um, who writes your material, Joshua? My dad writes my lyrics, but I have other music producers that helps me with my music also. Okay, do you put input into your songs? Do you give suggestions of things you may want to put in your lyrics? Yeah. You do? Because when my dad writes my lyrics, because <laughs> sometimes I help him out because he writes stuff that I don't <laughs> That's what <laughs> Some stuff that I'm not up current. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have that don't use that word. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah. cool anymore, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Joshua, tell us about some of the places where you've previously rapped. One of the places that I rapped before is at my own home church, which is West Angeles. And I've also done shows at carnivals, festivals, and theaters and so on. Okay, so you've gotten around. Okay, and you enjoy performing in front yeah, of people? I love it. You love it. Hmm. Awesome. Do you play any instruments? No, but I like to play the keyboards, the drums, but currently my dad teaches me how to play the guitar. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good. What do you want to be when you grow up? I like to be successful as a rapper. If that doesn't work out, I like to be involved in some kind of ministry or be a football player and a, or a basketball player, whatever door the Lord opens up for me. Wonderful. That's awesome. Wow. So you just want to be an entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> Any way you can entertain. And, okay, and God's glory can be shown through you. You want it to be done. All right. Mm -hmm. So Mario, tell us some precautions that parents need to take regarding their children's talents. Uh, one of the main precautions to take is to uh, don't force your child to do anything. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like I said, that mishap I had with Joshua when he said, I don't want to mm -hmm. do this anymore. Mm -hmm. I was prepared just to let it go. Even, more, even though it hurt me as a, as a musician, I want, naturally you want your son to follow in your footsteps, but I was prepared to say, okay, this, mm -hmm. he, that's what he, he want to do it, He's, you know, you don't have to do it. And uh, another precaution to take is to, uh, you know, just, you know, bring, keep God first and let the Lord lead you because, you know, we all know that God has planted gifts in all of us. So pray and let the Lord lead you and to uh, you, and open up your heart and your mind to whatever gift that the Lord has, has given your child you. and uh, so you can understand, you know, what to do with it, you know right. what I mean? Once, it's, once he shows a propensity towards a certain thing to, uh, um, to uh, you know, be able to lead him in the right, the right direction with it, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and just, you know, be very protective of, of people who don't mean your child any good. There's right. a lot of different agencies, <laughs> a lot of different things out here that take advantage yes. and, and exploit children, you yes. know. So you want to, you know, be protective of your child and uh, just keep him in a, keep his head straight and keep him in the right direction. And I think, like you said, prayer is, is the key, yeah. you know, yes. as we seek God's wisdom and his direction. You can't, you can't fail as long as you're obedient to the way that he's leading you. So right. I just, again, just commend you for, for keeping God first. Um, Pamela, I'd like to ask you, um, what recommendations do you have um, that would help parents nurture their children if they haven't discovered what their child's talent is? Okay, I would just suggest to them that just to keep a close eye on them and watch them, what their interests are mm -hmm. and what, um, what they're good at or what they're interested in. And what they like to do and okay. sometimes kids aren't you know interested in stuff at a young age for a while but um just keep a close eye at them and keep stuff available to them okay yeah, those kids are very impressionable yeah. mm -hmm. yes. you know and what we expose them to sometimes they they think they want to do that you know but that's not all the time the best thing for them to do 
you know, so, um, you know, regulate what they see and what they hear and, and um, you know, just be cautious to, you know, don't expose them too much of the world because the world is, you know, as we know, it's a monster and it can exactly. easily devour our children yes. if we don't regulate what they see and hear. You well, know. you know, that goes for us too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it affects us and right. you can just imagine with the child because they're so much more impressionable than we are. Right. So exactly. that that's very important that we have to you know, be be careful of the things like you said and, and, and the influences. I can only imagine with him being in the entertainment industry some right. of the horror stories that we have. Mm -hmm. So it is important just to keep him covered, you know, yes. and, and keep him, you know, keep him covered in prayer and just like you said, be protective of him at all times. Yeah, yeah. because rap has in itself has, you know, a negative, mm -hmm. you know, statement to it. And uh, uh, I take, I know, I, I look at it as an art form. Right. No matter what. It is an, it's a credible art form. And that's what I try to impress upon Joshua. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that, you know, even though that is, you know, people view it as sometimes being negative and, and it can be very negative. Right. You know, yes. and some of the images that we see on TV are very negative. Mm -hmm. But it is a, an art form. Right. And I respect that art form. Yes. And any, by, by me being a musician, anything in the music, that uh, that is, is comprehensible, you know what I mean? It moves the spirit, it moves the soul, because that's what God created music right. for in the first place. It's credible, you know, and and uh, I look at it with Joshua as being an art form, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and I don't, and I try to steer him away from all the negativity and all the bling bling and all the flash <laughs> yes. and all that type of stuff, you know, and just look at it as an art form and develop yourself as an artist, right. you know, and. Um, <coughs> You know, and I think you'll be safe. Yeah, and what that. draws me to music more than like the beat of the music or whatever is the actual lyrics. So yeah. I was listening yeah. as he was performing, mm -hmm. and that it's a ministry. It's mm -hmm. a ministry to kids his age, even teens, even us as adults, you know, because he was talking about being covered, you know, with the blood of Jesus, how mm -hmm. important that is. So, you know, it, it is. It's something that, you know, when you listen to the words that they're doing, yeah. then you know, like you said, whether it's going to give God the glory or not. So you guys are doing a wonderful job. Wonderful <laughs> job. Thank you. Yes. And um, for the both of you, how do you recommend that other parents nurture their children's talents? Once they've discovered or they've helped the children discover, how do you recommend that they nurture those, those talents towards um, them developing further in them? This is put them in in situations where you know they can uh, be exposed to other artists, other people who are heading in that direction. You know, like with Joshua, you know, I uh, I expose him to you know other rappers, people who are doing things in in his genre. You know what I mean? And and uh, try to give him as much as uh, exposure as you can, and so they can. They can understand at an early age, you know, the positive side and the negative side, you know, because when you think of music and you think of success in music, the first thing you think of is a lot of money and a lot of fame, a lot of glory, but it's it's not really like that, you know. I mean, it's really a lot of hard work. Hard work. Yeah. You know exactly. What I mean, you have to be very diligent and very focused, you know, and that's why you see a lot of these young rappers today are branching off into other businesses and things like that, and. You know, and that didn't come from just standing on the corner, coming up with a beat, right. rapping. You know, you right. have to use mm -hmm. your head to do that exactly. type of stuff. So just ex you know, expose them to the, you know, necessarily they're going to see the dark side. You know what I mean? But and make sure that they uh, understand that there is a lot of positive, and and that with with the Lord, with God's help, with God's guidance. You know what I mean? He, you know, you you'll be protected. He'll put a hedge around you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where you can. Because I remember the last, when he, last time Joshua did a show at Russ Anzal, he was prayed over yes. that uh, the Lord will protect him cause in this industry because this industry, as we know, you know, could be very shady at times, yes. you know. Yes. And a lot of people who run the industry are not upstanding people, right. you know, even though they, you know, they present themselves that way. So you have to, you know, Joshua has to be pre precautious and I have to be precautious as his dad. and. He was prayed over to put a hedge around him, you yes. know, so a lot of these, a lot of the pitfalls, you know what I mean, that the devil, and traps the devil would try to set for him, you know what I mean, God will protect us from, and, uh, you know, so yeah. we can avoid and That's something those. that we have to constantly do as parents as right. far as nurturing our children 
is not to rely on our strength and our wisdom and our power, but to mm. rely on the power of the Holy Ghost. And mm. like you said, the way you do that is, you know, through prayer, seeking God daily, you know, yes. and getting other saints together with you to pray, you know, and, and just to keep him covered and, and lifted up. I wanted to um, find out what, how do you handle, I'm, I'm sure he's getting really popular and everything, but how do you handle if you, you know, if it's, there's a parent who comes up and they see Joshua perform, and it, it's obvious it's a gift from God, but mm -hmm. they want their child to do that, or even a child sees him perform, and they want to do that. They, you know, they're trying to compare themselves with him, and they want the same thing that he has, or how, what, how do you handle a situation like that? Well, you kind of have to just listen. If it's a child, you kind of have to just listen to him. And <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, he, he's had his friends, you know, mm -hmm. so I don't want to do that. And, you know, will you teach me how? And you have to kind of just listen to him and, and then kind of give him a little criticism. I mean, right. if they're good, tell them. Right. If they're not, mm -hmm. just, you know, word it right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Joshua has friends that want to do the same thing he does, you know. But um, I, w I would just say, you know, if, if a child wants to do what Joshua does, you know, just try it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? See where it go, see where you go mm -hmm. with it, you know. As a child, we, you know, we're, we're just, uh, I, we're all lumps of clay anyway, right. waiting to be shaped right. and molded by the master. But as a child, it's even much more so, you know, and just, you know, he has a license to try everything. You know, he's young, yes. he's, you know, there's, there's nothing that's written in stone, you right. know, and if I was advising any child, they really like it, and, and they try it, they have a natural gift, and if God has placed that talent in their heart, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. go right. with it, because that's exactly. the path that God has set for you to go. Great. Explore it. Thank you so much. Well, we hope that you were informed, and we hope that you were entertained by today's show. Um, it is vital that we as parents have a relationship with the Lord. We must be living examples for our children in order to nurture them and to help them to use their God-given abilities and talents. Jesus tells us in Matthew 19, 14, to let the little children come to me and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, just ask him to come into your life and to uh, cleanse you of all your sins and give you the power of the Holy Ghost. Um, Joshua will close us out with one more song. Mario, will you let us know about his song? Yes, yeah, it's a song uh, called You Are My Shining Star. You Are My Shining <laughs> Dedicating Star. Dedicating this song to all the mothers. Out okay, there. thank you, Joshua. <laughs>
so I must confess my perfect love for the world to know The reason why I live and love to flow Now with your lemon and kiss and a hug you know I'm bound to grow With your wisdom man and goddess I'm prepared for life Through the hardest and the struggles I'm prepared to fight At the end of the tunnel I can see the light Mama waiting patiently throughout the night Never go away yeah, baby. I wanna be I wanna be Right here where you are Until my time day Until my time day yeah, Here we go, here we go I make a promise to your mama When you start to age I take care of your mama Love will never fade Looking back on the days When I used to play Having fun with the homies with no price to pay Underneath all the pressure, mama made a way Putting food on the table, never once complained Through the sun and the rain, mama never changed It's no wonder mama didn't want to run away It's the love and dedication, that's what made her stay That's why I be here with your mama, to my time and say You made me strong, that's why I brought this song To the most special lady that I ever known You are my shot and stop Don't you never go away No, no, no I wanna be I wanna be what?